Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan and thanks for joining us for our Friday weather update recorded on April the 19th. This weekend, we've got a cold front moving into Southland, we've got a low pressure zone out in the Tasman Sea, further afield, a powerful high about to come in and bulldoze this wet weather away from the country by Sunday, and that high will last most of next week, but at the end of it, we might be seeing a larger low coming into New Zealand. So let's try and break it down. This is our rain watch update we do every Friday. So let's have a look and see what is going on. Satellite wise, a lot of uh, bright yellow shading. That means that the cloud tops are high up in the atmosphere. Now out in the Tasman area, that means that they're big rain clouds. Further down here, the bright yellow you see, more likely to be the high cloud coming in over the tops of the hills. Not as much wet weather, if any really, for some of you around parts of Canterbury. But here is the cold front moving in and there is the low out at sea. Now on the animated wind and air pressure maps, it's much clearer to see where that low is. So smack bang in the middle, it's forming on the back end of this high that's moving away from us, bringing in a subtropical airflow to northerners. That's the reason why it was so mild in Auckland and Tauranga and Whangarei and those places in the north. On the other side, ask the people in Hobart and Melbourne how warm it is. High pressure down here, powerful one. So with these two highs, One's coming down with a northerly, the other's coming up with a southerly, like a spin top, spins that low in the middle. But it's also a little bit like digging um, a hole around white sand, and the more you dig, the more it kind of piles in on top of it, and it doesn't really, it's hard to do. So that low is going to struggle being sandwiched between those two big highs. Let's have a look at uh, this evening. This is where it lies out in the middle of the Tasman, the wet weather all lining up around it. The cold front down here, barely anything. So that's why we're not focused on that cold front very much. Although if you live in Southland, Otago, uh, parts of Westland, the lower half of the South Island really, you'll feel that temperature change. But in the north, mild. Here's the next 48 hours, crosses over the North Island on Saturday, clears on Sunday. So most of the North Island has a pretty good Sunday but a bit of a cloudy, wet Saturday. If you're going to the Toport supercars, I would love to be there. Sunday looks fantastic for the big race. Now the South Island gets a bit cloudier on Sunday, some rain clouds down here further to the south. So here's how the weekend rainfall shapes up. Most of it in the top half of the North Island. As that weak area of low pressure moves over and heaviest falls will be around East Cape, Coromandel Peninsula, which really needs the rain, and some other parts of the north, although just pointing out, are again around the Bay of Islands and the very far north, you're not getting as much rain as other parts of Northland, and so very dry there. Also, not as much rain for the east here, but for those who do need the rain, there is still some coming in. But you might have noticed, if you live in that middle section, rainfall totals have disappeared because that low, weak and heading further to the north. So here we are on Saturday at lunchtime. Here is the weak low coming forward to carry me home. Uh, 10, 13 uh, hectopascals in the middle there. So that is bang on average air pressure. It's not much of a low, but it's just enough to bring in some wet weather. Now there could be anywhere, as we just saw, between just a few millimeters or up to 30 or 40 millimeters, just depending on where you are. But most of the country is pretty dry thanks to the very weak area of low pressure just there. Both of these systems are weak. They're not very powerful at all. It's the next high coming in. That's the powerful one. You call that a high? This is a high. So here we go, pushing in. And it is, it's like a bulldozer. It just nudges away that low. So by lunchtime Sunday, it's pretty much gone. There might be a few lingering showers. Each update has really been a little bit messy over the last couple of days. If you get frustrated with weather forecasts, like I do too, when you see a 60% chance of rain one day and the next day is 20% and you think clearly the computer modeling doesn't know what it's doing. It does. It's just trying to work out a fine line between something like this moving in and pushing it away, but this low is still trying to you know, come back a wee bit. So we've got the high coming through on Sunday. Next week, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly next week. Low pressure up here. This is worth keeping an eye on. It's not a cyclone, but it's worth keeping an eye on. You'll see why as we go through the next few days. The high, 1028, pretty powerful coming in across the country, but a cooler sun, uh, Monday with that southerly flow in most places. Tuesday, in comes the high. Pretty warm for this time of the year in the lower part of the South Island. We've been talking about how frost-free it's been. No sudden changes on the way. Wednesday, the high moves out to the east of us. And by Thursday, this is our last map by the way, the high is out to the east and we've got a subtropical airflow coming down over most of the country. And if you don't have that, you've got a warm nor'wester blowing over the South Island. 
frost free, warmer than average, rain on the west coast. Now this doesn't look too nasty, but when you think about how it forms, it's a little bit like the low we've got right now. It's just a bigger version of it. So you've got the southerly blasting up here, Tasmania getting snow on the mountains. Uh, we'll be seeing that into Victoria. There'll be snow on the Alps. So cold wintry weather on that side, that's the southerly portion. On this side, the warm subtropical. So again, like a spin top, in the middle there's the low. And so we think that this low in the middle here of the Tasman, where the highs are just far enough apart to allow that system to do what it does, could well cross over the country next weekend and bring in some rain. We don't have the map for you because it's too far out to lock in. But we are optimistic there'll be some rain around for the dry regions. Not everyone will get it. I'm already clearly saying that. Just like the low this weekend is disappointing some of you in Hawke's Bay, Wided Upper, parts of Marlborough and Nelson still. But this is the seven day outlook. Now it's quite easy to see how that rain shadow effect of high pressure drifting from the west really stands out in this big blue area here, bottom of the scale. So we've got no rain forecast here, basically around Rangiora, for example, just north of Christchurch, and Christchurch itself probably as well. Not much in the way of rain. On the other side, 150 millimetres. Up here to the north, we're in that sort of 50, 60 millimetre mark if you're lucky. But elsewhere, not much wet weather coming in for central New Zealand, eastern New Zealand, but a little bit in the north, only a little bit, and even parts of Northland, you're in that 15 to 20 millimetre mark. Um, you know, that's just for this weekend mostly. So fingers crossed that the last weekend of April, we see a bigger rain event coming out of the Tasman and over the country. El Nino has officially gone. We'll be talking more about that in our next Climate Watch update on Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday, May the 1st, May the 1st anyway. Um, I would expect to see more low pressure zones now coming into the country, but don't expect anything to quickly change. We're on a bit of a slow you know, slide away from El Nino and further into what is going to be a neutral weather pattern. And just lastly, what we often say neutral means chaos. And some people find that a bit of a, that's a bit confusing, don't they mean sort of different things? Just think about you're driving in a car, either you're going for a driving lesson or your parents, you're the parent taking your kid. Uh, if you're driving along in first gear, let's say that's El Nino, you're going in that direction. Reverse, that is La Nina, the other direction. Neutral, that's when the, the gas stick's stuck in the middle and you're driving along on a road and you're supposed to be moving in one direction or the other, but you're just sort of grinding the gears. That's kind of what we're in now. Not the best analogy, but it sort of works. It means that we're in a messier setup now, and that does mean that there could be more chaos in the forecast as we go into winter. That's, that's a good thing, usually, for us. It gives us more variety in our weather. That's all from me. Have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy the supercars in Topor if you're heading off there. It'll be a wet, colder Saturday at times, but, you know, hey, it's not that bad still, and Sunday looks fantastic. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.